Magandang hapon mga kababayan. Ako po si G. Tanji. You are watching Kababayan Today, the only daily talk show for Filipinos here in North America. And it's all about film. We are discussing the films that are part of the VC Film Festival that's happening this weekend. And let's watch this trailer from a short film called Tag. Hey, what's up, homie? Where you from, dog? Joining us here on the set of Kababayan today are the filmmakers of the trailer that you just watched called Tag. Kasama natin, Patrick Green and Steve Tirona. Welcome to Kababayan today. How you doing, Giselle? We're very excited about this film because, for one, your lead girl is Filipina. Beautiful, by the way. Um, and we have Filipinos that are part of the production and it's showing at the VC Film Festival, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. So welcome to our program. Thank welcome, you. thank you. All right, so um, Patrick, let's talk about this project. Why did you decide that this was a story you needed to tell? Um, you know, I think just from, you know, as the Asian Film Fest, the Los Angeles Asian Film Fest is about, is about telling stories that, that kind of break stereotypes. Mm -hmm. um, I had seen, this, the idea came from a picture on Instagram, like all good stories uh, come from Instagram. Um, and I just saw a Hawaiian girl tagging, and it, I thought it was such an interesting look because, you know, the stereotype of a tagger is, you know, a guy with, you know, a hoodie on and, and whatnot. Um, so I kind of merged that idea with, you know, kind of being an, an Asian American artist, um, and kind of, you know, there. It's almost when you tell your parents um, something about like you want to be an artist, it's almost as bad as committing a crime, you know, because, you know, it's not, it's not. Kind Why aren't of, you going to be a nurse? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> right? So um, I kind of merged those ideas about, um, you know, the stereotype of a tagger and mixing in kind of with someone who wants to express themselves. Um, so that's what the movie is about, kind of finding your voice and uh, making a mark in the okay. world. Okay. All right, Steve, yes. welcome Thank to Kababayan today. We Thank know you. you from your work in the Philippines. <laughs> We're very excited. You're here in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. So welcome. <laughs> Thank um, you. Let's talk about, para sa mga taong hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung tagger. What's a tagger? tagger? For our titos and titas that don't know. <laughs> tagger is someone who's trying to express themselves with a... For, with a Use of graffiti uh -huh. and getting their name across the city, pretty much, and trying to put their name, whatever they call themselves, and as many places as they can, and highly visible places, so that more people can see them and get their name across. Okay. Traditionally, you know, I can say the older generation looks upon the art of graffiti as, you know, it's a crime. You're vandalizing. Um, but as we see the city becoming more and more, um, like being able to showcase creatively the people that live there, then you're able to see art all over the all over the city, right? So how do we explain to Filipino Americans in the generation that don't understand this art form? You know, I think graffiti, like Steve said, is an expression of oneself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the piece in the in our movie was done by a local artist who we found. Um, who had done murals all around Boyle Heights. Mm -hmm. And so we tracked him down and he did the artwork for us. Um, and, you know, I think it was about more about kind of finding, we got permission, um, but finding a place where this art would stay for a while. And, and the whole thing about street art is it's only supposed to be there for a while. And then the next person's supposed to go and, and do it over. Um, but, you know, I, I think graffiti kind of gets, and street art gets mixed up with gang affiliation. Yeah. And it's not all about that. Um, it, you know, I think it's about expressing oneself, you know, um, making a mark in the world and, and whatnot. Yeah, well, thanks to you, you're breaking stereotypes, right? And hopefully, filmmakers try to do that. It's just that, you know, we live in a place and time where we try to play up to stereotypes and no one else is going to tell our story as Asian Americans here but us so I'm glad that you guys have collaborated together. Steve, as a Filipino American that's trying to create work here, mm -hmm. what do you find are the biggest challenges um, as a filmmaker? Um, well, we were working with such a small crew, small tight 
budget and everything. So there were certain limitations, but I think that's part of the challenge to come up with something you can something great with what you have, you know. So mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think there's too many limitations if as long as you can work around, you know. Yeah, give us the funding and we can create <laughs> anything, right? I mean, I think that's the biggest hurdle is the funding because, you know, these these funds are coming out of your own pockets as filmmakers or family and friends. Um, yeah. So we're hoping one day that, you know, the big media conglomerates <laughs> will pay attention to Asian American stories because we're here to tell them. Okay, when we return, we'll give all the details so that they can catch the screening of TAG at the BC Film Festival. We'll be right back with Steve and Patrick here on Kababayan Today.